Aloha from the beautiful Garden Island of Kauai. It's Ron Margolis with KW Kauai, Keller Williams Realty on Kauai. And today I'm going to be talking about 2017, the year in review, and a little bit of what we anticipate to be the trends of the market coming into the new year. The real estate market on Kauai was very bustling and brisk. The number of transactions was a stat that we monitor were up over 12% in 2017, and the dollar volume of the sales was up about 5%, meaning more money being invested and traded in real estate in 2017. So I'm gonna talk about the different areas of the market, starting from west to east. You may know we have five zones on Kauai. We use the plat and parcel system of real estate, the whole state of Hawaii does. We start on the west side with Waimea, where towns like Waimea and Keikaha are. Then we move um, east, to the Kaloa district where we have towns like Kalaheo, Lawai, Omao, Kaloa, and of course Poipu Beach. And then we continue east to get to our big metropolitan area, Lihue, where we have Costco and Ross and Starbucks and all the modern amenities of America. And then we continue up the eastern coast to the Kauai Hau Zone, it's called the Kauai Hau Zone, where towns like Kapa'a and Wailua are. And then we journey all the way up north, starting with Kilauea. It's called the Hanalei Zone. It has towns like Kilauea, Princeville, Hanalei, Wainiha, and Hyena. So I'll talk about the numbers in each area. And first, in Waimea, single family home pricing was up 10.67%. That's a nice rise for the west side area where it's sunny and drier. And, um, no condo trades there because we don't have condos. In the Kaloa area, hopefully you can see that, uh, single family home pricing was up 6.15% and condo pricing was up 8%. A lot of the rise in the median price of condos was facilitated by the Brookfield Development Peely Mine, uh, which has brand new townhomes, two and three bedrooms ranging from the 600 to high 800 range and that helped pull up the median price on the south side of condos. Lihue, we have um, a shortage of affordable inventory, so single family home prices were up 4.8%. And the condo market was up a large amount. That doesn't mean prices went up that much uh, in Lihue, it just means that the trades were above a lower price because there wasn't as much inventory for the affordable condos at places like Halelani Village and uh, Kalapaki Villas. So prices continued to go up there because of the shortage of inventory. The Kauai Hau District, one of the more affordable areas of the island, home prices up uh, over 9%. Um, and again, it's the shortage of inventory. You know, here on Kauai, believe it or not, Anything under 600,000 for a single family home is considered affordable, certainly in most of the areas. And of course, on the North Shore, it's a much higher price. Uh, condos were down a huge amount. And again, that's because um, there were trades of some of the entry level condos with the market rising. You know, people who bought when the market was down can now sell their properties and make some good equity gains. In fact, for most people on the island, um, it's really a great time to sell, especially if you bought when the market was distressed. And then the Hanalei District, uh, home prices up just a little bit and condo prices down uh, over 12%. Again, this is the medium price and that's just talking about uh, a balance between the number of trades below and the number of trades above a certain number. Of course, in the Hanalei District, when there's a 15 or $20 million sale, it's taken out of the numbers because it would skew the numbers too very much. So what can we expect in 2018 for the Kauai marketplace? Well, if things continue as they are, and there's no reason to believe why they wouldn't, we have continued demand for property. Just like all of the islands of Hawaii, there's a limited amount of housing and there's a lot of demand, certainly with baby boomers retiring and so much wealth coming from Silicon Valley. And um, prices are probably going to continue to rise, um, short of any kind of global event that would deter that. 
tourism is strong tourism continues to go up and that means if you own vacation rental property you're seeing good returns pretty much every year if you're in that situation with your vacation rental and single family pricing in a modest price range is going to continue to have upward price pressure um, I don't really see that changing much this year. Um, there continues to be uh, over a couple of years of supply, most areas of the island for homes above $2 million. So it's a little different segment of the marketplace. The buyer may be more in a position to negotiate for some type of a discount because of the inventory. But down where the prices are $550, $600, we'll see multiple offers, you know, like some very hot markets on the mainland. And buyers find themselves getting into bidding wars, or they like to use that word, I, I personally don't, uh, where they're competing. And, you know, if that happens once or twice, uh, then they're more likely to offer full price out of the box. So in the final analysis, 2017 was a great year for real estate on Kauai. 2018 looks to be a very good year for real estate on Kauai. If you're a buyer, it's still a great time to get a toehold on the marketplace. A lot of people get a condo that they're going to stay out a, a few weeks out of the year. They have it as a vacation rental until such time as they're going to move here or retire. And then they upgrade to a single family home. And if you're a seller, um, it's a very strong market um, as long as you're priced right and marketed right. So I'm Ron Margolis with KW Kauai. My team and I are here to serve you and do everything we can to help you realize your goals with real estate on Kauai. And until next time, from the Garden Island, a hui ho from me and the Margolis team. And we'll see you on my next blog. Have a healthy, happy, and prosperous new year. Aloha.